So big retailers will likely dominate trading this week. Walmart, Macy's, and Home Depot among those set to report profits. So what should investors look for? Let's ask Rob Morgan, Chief Investment Officer at Sethi. Good morning, Rob. And hey, good morning, back. Leah. All right, so Thank let's you. just go straight to what do you sort of expect overall from retailers, particularly as it pertains to their commentary on Donald Trump's, on President Trump's uh, tax plan? Well, Leah, I think that uh, nobody's expecting uh, gangbusters out of retail earnings this week, but a couple of silver linings related to that. Number one, the retailers have been lowering their expectations, which is good. Number two, last week when they reported retail sales, they were far better than expected for January, which, which won't be captured in these earnings reports, but they could be able to give good guidance. And then, and then to address your question directly about the border adjustment tax, the retailers don't want it. Seven heads of uh, retail uh, firms were in D.C. last Wednesday lobbying against it. It's, uh, it's, it's not clear cut if it's going to be an absolute negative for them, but, but certainly they're not in favor of it. Rob, there's a report in the Wall Street Journal, and it says that the Trump administration is looking into a, a way to redo some of the export and the trade gap data by excluding exports from the calculations that are made from stuff imported into the U.S. What do you make of that? Well, I, a couple of thoughts, Lauren. I think uh, number one, um, you know, uh, market market watchers are going to continue to uh, figure this out probably the same way they always have. They'll just they'll just make adjustments for that. Number two, it, se it seems like this is an attempt, perhaps, by the administration to say that uh, trade agreements need need to be restructured. Mm -hmm. So, so I I think maybe that's the catalyst for it, perhaps. So, Rob, we know we're expecting this week to see the Fed Reserve minutes from the uh, January 31st to February 1st meeting released. What else are you expecting this week, and what are you taking a look at? Well, that's, I tell you, the Fed minutes are, are, have become much more important uh, now than, than they have in the past. I, I, I tend to think that the, the market expects three Fed hikes this year. Uh, Fed Governor Lacker has begun to say we we may need four. Hmm. I tend to agree with him. So that's what I'm that's what I'm going to be looking at in, the, in those Fed minutes, and and uh, those are uh, those are uh, certainly what I'll be watching for, along with the retail uh, earnings that we talked about. Four rate hikes. If we get those four rate hikes in 2017, Rob, what will that do? Do, do you think the overall economy can handle that? And I'm inclined to say you're going to say yes, especially looking at retail sales, the health <laughs> of the consumer. But do you really think the economy can handle that? What if we don't get this tax plan from Donald Trump? Well, I mean, Lauren, certainly there's the old saying that uh, the, the Fed, the Fed uh, takes away the punch bowl before the party gets started. But I think the economy can handle it. All right. Well, thank you, Rob Morgan, Chief Investment Officer at SEBI. Thanks for joining us. Thanks a lot.